So I'm gonna be on camera here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Feel good? Yeah. I okay. <laughs> Are we rolling? Yes. Okay. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Serena and I'm sitting here with Callie. We met on Instagram. <laughs> So go ahead, who are you and what are you about? So my name's Callie, I grew up in the area. Uh, I am a dental hygienist part-time and then I also am a certified personal trainer and I own an online fitness business um, where I help people with their health and fitness journey. That is so awesome because I'm also certified through ACE so I know how hard that shit was. Yes. I mean that was a very difficult like not just the process of studying for the whole thing, but the test itself was very intimidating. Yeah, I walked out, the lady was kind of shocked that I passed, because really? three people before me failed. So. Oh, yeah, <laughs> and I've actually heard that people who go to college for like physiology and kinesiology and all of that have a hard time passing the ACE fitness test. Yeah. So, very difficult, but glad we did it, because now that's where we are, that's what we have in common, yeah, so very awesome. awesome. Now, how long has it been since you started your fitness journey? Tell me about that. So, it was probably about four, four and a half years ago. Um, I graduated college and through that I had gained a lot of weight and so I needed to get into something that would kind of bring me back to where I needed to be both physically and mentally. And so I got really into running first and then it kind of developed into um, just wanting to help people and inspire people to change their lives in a healthier way mm -hmm. um, and just be their, the best version of themselves that they could be. Yeah, absolutely. So, because the fitness part isn't, and this has been on my mind and weighing on my heart so heavily, especially the last few days, is that it's not just about your body being physically healthy, but it all starts in, in your head. Oh yeah. You have to be in the right place mentally before you can even try to work on yourself physically. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm more than happy to dive a little more into that with my experience. Yeah, if, yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah, so when I first started, I got really into running and I just went all out. I, I became obsessed. I was counting every single calorie I was putting in my body. I was running like six to eight miles a day wow. like yeah and it, <laughs> it was just it was crazy my body was being worked i was getting injured frequently and still like working out through that not giving my body the rest it needed and i lost a lot of weight through that but mm -hmm. i lost too much weight and right. yeah i it it was bad like people were contacting me like saying you know oh you're looking too thin or mm -hmm. like are you doing okay and questioning like my like mental health and everything and I was so ignorant and then it, it was my mom said something to me and that mm -hmm. was kind of what really I and even my husband mm -hmm. um, he wasn't my husband at the time but he was my boyfriend <laughs> so, um, but he had said something just about the way that I looked and not in a mean way it was just mm -hmm. out of concern right and so I really had to take a step back and I then realized that it was too much. So mm -hmm. I, I backed off the running a little bit. It was very, very difficult. I, at that point, I hadn't seen a therapist or talked to anyone mm -hmm. or like seeked help or anything. Um, but I started eating more and kind of gaining that balance between working out. I gave myself one rest day a week. Um, so used a lot of tools to kind of balance out what was happening and you know I gained a few pounds back mm -hmm. and by a few I mean like 10 pounds back <laughs> so like I mean you know for someone who is so like mentally strict with themselves mm -hmm. like to see you gain 10 pounds like that's hard yeah. but um it was totally needed and so through that I had been through the struggle of being overweight and dealing with like not being able to fit in my my pants that I was able to or not lo liking looking at myself in the mirror mm -hmm. but then I also experienced the being too thin and not being like mentally in the right place with it all right. so I feel like I can connect to so many different people and that's so important yeah so now I have finally come to this place in my own journey where I truly believe in like a balanced diet mm -hmm. I believe that you need to give your body rest I believe that you do need to stay active in order to be healthy, but 
Um, it's all about just a few minutes a day of movement. It's not necessarily about running 10 miles a day. Or so, spending an hour or two in the gym yeah, every day. You yeah, know, absolutely. With stuff. Yeah, you just have to move your body and just make small, good decisions, like mm -hmm. nutrition-wise. What is um, a typical week? look like for you as far as like working out like how do you work out what's a routine look like for you and maybe uh, an example of you said a balanced diet so what do you typically eat so as far as the exercise i always try and give myself at least like one day off like mm -hmm. that i just dedicate and i mean sure i might take my dog for like a little walk or mm -hmm. something so some people are like you don't take the day off but it's my dog and we have a good time but yeah. um but i I like working out from home a lot if mm -hmm. I can. It's just so convenient for me. Um, and I feel like nowadays people are so busy. And so I have um, tried to eliminate a lot of the barriers like mm -hmm. to working out, like having to go to the gym and everything through right. my program. And I'll talk about that later. But um, I'll typically do like two to three workouts for my living room. I saw one you posted the other day. It was really awesome. Yeah, it's so easy. Uh -huh. just like, you just spend 20 minutes and it's like good for your soul. Yeah. And, um, and you sweat while you're at it. And then I currently am training for a race. So I run three times a week as well. That's awesome. So yeah, the, I'm still getting the miles in, but I'm spreading it out and making yeah. sure to like strength train and balance it with other activities. Right. And now I know when I was studying as the, as the ACE professional, tell me your take on the, the importance of not only cardio. So somebody trying to lose weight says, you know, cardio, 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 mm -hmm. and that so, can be so detrimental mm -hmm. to your health. I actually just saw an instance of this on Facebook. Somebody was like, how do I lose weight on my hips? And this lady posted cardio, cardio, cardio. And I'm like, oh my God, no, please. Yeah. Contact me. I'm a personal trainer. This is what I do. <laughs> so it, your take on how weight training plays into cardio. So, I mean, cardio, if you're... Or plays into weight loss, excuse me. Oh, yeah. So strength training, I mean, you just have to do that for your joint health, for... Mm -hmm. um, like strengthening your muscles and being able to support the action of cardio. Like yeah. in order to run, you have to have like strong tendons and muscles and everything course, that's right. connecting everything together. Yeah. Because if you don't have the foundation, then you're not going to be able to build it all. So when people say cardio, 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 yes, you can lose weight. And this is what I was saying earlier is I experienced that. I, all I did was run. Mm -hmm. Like all I did was cardio and I lost a significant amount of weight, but I was like wasted away. Like right. I didn't have, you know, like I had a pancake, butt. like yeah. I, you know, <laughs> and, and it wasn't, it wasn't good. It wasn't healthy. And I didn't have, I kept getting chronic stress fractures and mm -hmm. like other things were going wrong with my body that I haven't experienced since I started incorporating the strength training. Right. And it's like you said, the foundation mm -hmm. is the foundation for everything because you have to work the stabilizer muscles mm -hmm. and your core. Your core is so important to all movements, whether you're walking across the room to walking up the stairs. If you have no core strength and you're going to experience things like knee pain, hip pain, back pain, you know, and not be able to, you know, lift things above your head mm -hmm. and you have people that completely stress their bodies out mm -hmm. not taking that into account at all. And tying into that, it's that's a whole mental game in itself because oh, people, yeah. you know, they'll say, oh, I can go for a two mile run and leave sweating, or I can sit at home and do 20 minutes of like strength training where, you know, it might just be like stabilization or core work that you're not really sweating. So you don't feel like you got as big of a burn. Yeah. So you feel like the time you spent working out wasn't as effective. Right. So exactly. that's a whole thing. And that was something that was very hard for me because mm -hmm. I would be like, well, why can I do that? Why would I do that if I can just go run two miles and sweat, know that I burn X amount of calories and you know, it was all like known instead yeah. of focusing on the other parts mm -hmm. of my body. There are times where Aubrey and I would go to the gym and cause I really enjoy, and we started out doing all the in-home workouts, but we got a gym membership. Um, mostly because we like sitting in the sauna. Yeah. But, <laughs> <laughs> so we can go to the gym and work out for 45 minutes and then we'll like look at each other and be like, huh. Eh. Yeah. But then, like, the next day, it will be like, oh, I can't walk, you know, and it'll look like a, a dinosaur trying to walk across the room. Now, with that being said, the words, um, 
about delayed onset muscle soreness. Oh, that, the yes. DOMS. That's, what oh, yeah. that's the word I was looking for. Yeah. That's so, a real thing. <laughs> that is a real thing. Yeah. And it is really good for your body to a certain extent. Now, you shouldn't tear down and tear down and tear down those muscles without doing anything to build them back up or giving them the proper rest that they need to be built back or up. Or nutrition. Or they the nutrition that they need to be built back up. But... If you go to the gym and you work, work out for 45 minutes and you're not sore the next day, then you need to pick up heavier weights. <laughs> you, need to, you need to find something else that works for you. Yeah. You should be a little bit sore. Yeah. Just mostly for me, and maybe this is my where my mind is stuck, is it has to hurt. Mm -hmm. Which I, and I completely know that it does not have to hurt mm -hmm. in order for it to be effective. Like, I, I know that logically, but my body tells me... You know, my body's not sense. leaving here until, until it <laughs> hurts. Yes, my or favorite. Until you feel fatigued or like yeah. you can't do it anymore. My favorite arm days are the ones where you can't lengthen your arms out <laughs> all the way because the bicep is just so tight and. I, I'm just, I'm or in the love. the days where you're going yes. down the stairs having to hold the rail. Or it's, it's hard to sit on the toilet. Yeah. Like, I hate having to pee after leg day. Um, <laughs> but I'm in love. I would marry Doms. If I could marry Doms, I would. I know. It hurts so good. Yes. <laughs> I love it so much. Okay, now you mentioned a program. So tell us about what you do professionally. Well, I am a hygienist, a dental hygienist, so I clean teeth. <laughs> but, I have yeah. an appointment on Friday, by the way. Oh, good. I'm so glad because <laughs> a lot of people forget about their oral health, um, which I absolutely love being a dental hygienist. I do it part-time now. I was full-time. I recently just quit my full-time job, though, and went down to part-time. And it's excellent because I still am able to help people, and it still helps their overall health, like mm -hmm. dealing with their oral health. Um, but... I did get certified as personal trainer and decided that I really wanted to kind of dive into my business, which is called CalFit. Um, and I offer like online programs that are pre-recorded programs that people can purchase and um, do in the comfort of their own home, or mm -hmm. they can stream it at the gym, wherever is most convenient. And then I do online personal training as well too. That's awesome. And that's kind of new, so I'm excited yeah. about that. I've been watching all of your posts about um, uh, something. There was you said there's a wait list. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so what's that? So people are just joining the wait list and I have a surprise for the people that have joined. They're going to be able to have a little discount code for the program. Awesome. So yeah, so that's the main thing. Um, but it's just also so I can have a better idea of who to contact for the programs. Mm -hmm. um, but there's two new programs that are coming out in the end of February. February mm -hmm. 18th is when they'll come out. Um, but I'm very excited for where it's going to go and I just, I love helping people and I've had a lot of people show interest and a lot of people have already done my first program mm -hmm. who have absolutely loved it and the best part about it, I think, like while being able to help people change their aesthetic, like we said earlier, it's mm -hmm. not all about, like fitness is not all about just changing your appearance, it's about the internal as well. Yes. And so the thing and the feedback that I've gotten the most from those who have participated is that they now enjoy spending the time working mm -hmm. out. Like, they look forward to, like, those 30 minutes that they can just, like, yeah. wind down or, like, get their sanity back or, mm -hmm. you know, de-stress, whatever it's it self -care. is. Self-care. Yeah, whatever you use exercise for, like, you mm -hmm. have to find a deeper reason for it than to just check it off. Sure, yeah. some days we don't want to do the workout, but... Mm -hmm. You'll never regret a workout. You'll never regret exercise. Well, <laughs> one day Aubrey and I were at the gym and we had a really terrible experience while we were there. Oh no! And it was just way too full. And again, this is the reason why we typically don't go to the gym. But it was way too full. Everything was being used. There was distractions everywhere. And as we walk out, Aubrey says, "You know that saying: the only workout you regret is the one you didn't do." Well, that's not true today. <laughs> I regret this workout. So. Yeah, <laughs> we didn't have I guess. To today. <laughs> but at the same time, it was probably nice to spend those few minutes sweating. Yeah, and then, <laughs> even yeah. if it was in the sauna. <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness. Ten minutes in that 170 degree room is all I need on a daily basis. Pure heaven. Yes. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, and I mean, like I said earlier, I love doing in-home workouts, and my programs are geared towards um, the convenience of working out in your own home because my like, audience is mainly 
um, like stay at home moms mm -hmm. and like brides to be who are like busy and just want something quick to do at home. Um, but there is absolutely nothing wrong with going to a gym. Yeah. Like, like nothing wrong. And I personally, like recently, I've been going to the gym more frequently because it's just like an escape. Like mm -hmm. I just feel like in my happy place when I'm there. Yeah, um, it's like hitting the pause button on life, I feel mm -hmm. like. Yeah, you walk in and, and I mean, you're surrounded by other people who are trying to achieve their own goals and mm -hmm. well, I guess there's some of those people that just sit on the bench and Play take pictures phones. of themselves. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which I mean, I'm guilty of too sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> I enjoy gym selfies. But, but yeah, there's nothing wrong with going to the gym as long as you're getting those few minutes of movement in and that time to yourself. Mm -hmm. Like, that's like the thing I will preach until I die. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Now, with your at-home workouts, do you do them weighted or unweighted and why? I do both. <laughs> um, I have one program that is no equipment at all. It's just um, you just stream the video. And I do that because a lot of people don't have weights at their mm -hmm. own house. And like I said, they are geared towards in-home workouts. Um, and then I did have a lot of interest in a weighted program. So mm -hmm. now my new program coming out um, does incorporate dumbbells and you can kind of choose whatever weight you want. I have a recommendation, um, especially because of a lot of people who have signed up for the wait list, they don't have much experience with weights. Mm -hmm. So, and I myself really didn't, but through studying for the personal trainer exam and everything, I learned a lot and I started doing it on my own and I was like, Dang, this is like super fun. Like, Maybe why we should work out together? I know <laughs> we should. Why haven't we done that? <laughs> yeah, let's definitely make a date to work out together yeah. because we do such opposite things. So yeah. I think it'd be awesome to do what like each other do. Yeah. yeah. So you gotta get me into the yoga. <laughs> yes, I was just gonna mention. So with all like the weights and stuff, because okay, so you are just starting out with the weights. I love lifting weights. Mm -hmm. I mean, even if it's just my five pounds, you know, all the way up to um, oh, yeah. really, we like to lift big weights. Um, yes, yeah. with the baby weights. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll we'll do something. I'll I'll have you lifting heavy. You'll love it. Okay. Um, I'll give it a try. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, why not, right? Yoga, I feel like ties all of everything that we've been talking about together. In my own opinion. So what is, I remember talking about yoga with you before and you said that you just didn't really, couldn't get into it. Oh yeah, I have no hate against <laughs> yoga at all. And I have a few friends who are yoga instructors, but I, for some reason, just like, as much as I am so in tune with my mental health and like mm -hmm. my internal self, I cannot get myself to just like be in the moment. <laughs> <laughs> like. I, I can sit in my room and like breathe for a few minutes, but I don't know if it's just me. I, I think it's just a little barrier I have being able to just literally like sit and be calm and yeah. like just focus. That for, is the hardest part. Yeah. And I like to say that I am a very focused and like German person, but the yoga, I just, <laughs> and I mean, I think I have to get over the um kind of things. I don't I, do that in the yoga that I teach, by the way. And nothing, there's not, I love, like, I fully believe that we all are, like, vibration. It's all energy, and it's all about, like, how, just everything has an energy. Like, yeah. I feel like our energies, we match. Yeah. And our energies, we match. Aubrey, he's on the other side of the camera. <laughs> um, and I really feel like that's why, like, if you go to the store and somebody's too close to you and you're very uncomfortable, it's because your energies don't match. Yeah. So I really believe in, and <clears throat> this tree has an energy, and I believe that stuff. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> I believe that stuff. But when See, I that's teach, where I, <laughs> I'm like, the tree. <laughs> but I'll, I'll go with it. Okay. Okay. So what I'm trying to say is that when I teach a yoga class, we do not sit in OM, we do not sit and meditate. I really enjoy yoga for the aspect of the whole science behind it, the anatomy behind it, and that it is very calming for me. I am a very, uh, intro, I'm a very introverted kind of person, but at the same time I get very hyper and it's I'm, I'm a very unique and interesting person, let's just say that. So yoga calms me down. 
but I do it because of the strength training part of it mm -hmm. and because I love anatomy mm -hmm. so much yeah. and all the systems in the body and how I all love works together. Too. So I think you could love <laughs> yoga. Maybe you could love yoga with me. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it's just I haven't had the right instructor. Yes, it could, <laughs> it could be that. No meditating. We do it all about. Maybe my energies didn't match with that. <laughs> yes, exactly. You more bounce off each other. Yes. <laughs> I'll give it a try. Yeah, well, excellent. We'll do it together. Um, actually, I have some yoga up on YouTube. I'll send oh. you a YouTube yoga. Okay. I'll do it. <laughs> That'll be awesome. Yeah, and working out together and all of that. So, I absolutely I love your story. It's so inspirational. How can we get a hold of you? If any of our viewers or listeners wanted to like find you on Facebook or Instagram or anything like that, how could we get a hold of you? So my Instagram um, name is at calfit, C-A-L-F-I-T underscore Ryan, R-Y-A-N. And then my website for Calfit is www.calfit, sorry, www.calfitprogram.com. Awesome. And then everything's on there that you need to find. So. Yeah, and I'll link all that down below so that, you know, it's all clickable and everything and everybody can find you. Yeah. It's so great. I'm so excited for this. I am so excited. <laughs> and I feel like because Aubrey and I are creating um, a program right now as well, and that's what you do, I really feel like it'd be awesome to collaborate on something yeah. and create a program together that would be available for people. Um, to, to see, have experience and all of that too. Absolutely, yeah. And I think it would be so cool to kind of incorporate our different energies yes. into it. <laughs> <laughs> now that's just what we're going to say that every time now. All right, awesome. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate you watching. I hope you had a good time. I know I did. Yeah, thank you so much. Thanks for listening and thank you for having me. Yeah, absolutely. So don't forget, if you want to get a hold of me, you can email me at Serena and Josh Sutterfield at gmail.com and find me on Instagram at, as well at Serena.and.josh.